Welcome to Chapter 2 of No ESP No Problem, the best SKSE plugins for a customized Skyrim experience. In our previous video, we explored the world of SKSE plugins that don't require ESP files, and today we're back with even more exciting plugins to take your Skyrim gameplay to the next level. Whether you're looking to enhance combat, add immersive features, or simply make your game look and feel better, we've got you covered. So sit back, grab your favorite beverage, and let's dive into the best SKSE plugins for a fully customized Skyrim experience. As you may know, Skyrim is not a very stable game, and it has a lot of bugs and glitches that can ruin your experience. All of this just works. Just work. It doesn't just works. Anyway, one of the most common issues is that reloading a save can cause the game state to get corrupted, meaning that some things may not work as intended or even disappear from the game. This can happen when you load multiple saves in a single session, for example when you die and reload, or when you quick save and quick load. Clean Save Auto Reloader mod aims to prevent this problem by automatically reloading the game to a clean state before loading a save. This means that every time you load a save, the mod will first close the game and then restart it with the save you selected. This way the game will always start fresh and avoid any leftover references or data from previous saves. The mod works very seamlessly and you don't have to do anything manually. Just install it with your preferred mod manager and make sure you have SKSE64 and Visual C++ Redistributable 2022 installed as well. The mod will detect when you try to load a save and do its magic. All of this just works. Yeah, this mod will just works. You don't have to press any buttons or wait for any prompts. The only downside is that this will increase your loading times, since the game has to restart every time. On my hardware, this process takes about 10 seconds, but this may vary depending on your setup. I think this mod is very useful and worth trying out if you want to avoid some of the annoying bugs that can happen in Skyrim. It may not fix all the issues related to saving and loading, but it should eliminate the ones caused by reloading. Of course, this mod is not a substitute for proper modding practices, and you should always back up your saves and use tools like Loot or Seed It to make sure your load order is clean and compatible. You can find this mod on Nexus Mods under the name Clean Save Auto Reloader by Vermins. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like this mod, don't forget to endorse it and support the author. You know those falling rock traps that you can find in some dungeons and caves? They are supposed to be a hazard that can damage you or your enemies if you trigger them. However, there is a bug that makes the rocks that have already fallen and are lying on the ground still do damage to NPCs that touch them. This means that you can see enemies die or get hurt by just walking into motionless rocks, which makes no sense at all. It also makes the game too easy and unfair, since you can exploit this bug to kill enemies without doing anything. Motionless rocks killing people. Fix mod fixes this bug by making the rocks only do damage when they are actually falling or rolling, not when they are stationary. It does this by checking the vertical velocity of the rocks and ignoring the horizontal one for NPCs. The player is unaffected by this change since they already have a different behavior for the rocks. This mod also improves performance by doing some micro optimizations to the script that handles the trap. This mod is very simple and compatible with everything except mods that change the same vanilla script. It works with USEP, improved traps, and mods that change trap damage. It has no ESP file and it's very easy to install with any mod manager. You just need SKSE64 and Visual C++ Redistributable 2022 as requirements. Modern Combat Overhaul, or MCO for short, is a mod that adds new movesets and animations to Skyrim's combat system. It allows you to perform different attacks depending on your directional input, such as side slashes, back steps, lunges, and more. It also adds recovery frames to attack animations, which lets you cancel your attacks early by moving in a different direction. This makes combat more fluid and responsive, as well as more challenging and skill-based. However, MCO requires an SKSE plugin to work properly, and the original plugin was only compatible with Skyrim version January 5th, 97. This means that if you updated your game to the latest version, such as 16640 or 16649, MCO would not work correctly, and you would lose some of its features. This is where MCO Universal Support comes in. This mod is a remake of the SKSE plugin that allows MCO to work with any Skyrim version above 16629. It also works with Skyrim VR and any mod that uses ADXP or MCO movesets, such as SCAR or Smooth moveset. 
This mod is a must-have if you want to use MCO with the latest Skyrim updates and mods. This mod is very simple and easy to install. You just need SKSC 64, address library for SKSC plugins, and behavior data injector as dependencies. You also need Modern Combat Overhaul itself, and any moveset mods that you want to use. You just download the mod with any mod manager and overwrite the original MCO plugin with this one. One of the problems with Skyrim's combat is that NPCs tend to move in a very predictable and linear way. They either charge at you in a straight line, or they stand still and wait for you to come closer. This makes combat very boring and easy, since you can just kite them around or exploit their poor paving. It also doesn't look very natural or immersive, since NPCs don't seem to have any sense of tactics or strategy. Combat Pathing Revolution mod changes that by introducing a new AI pathing framework for melee combat. It allows NPCs to move in different ways depending on the situation and their weapon type. They can advance, back off, circle, or flank you, depending on their distance, angle, and aggression level. They can also adjust their speed and direction to avoid obstacles and find openings. This makes combat more challenging and varied, since you have to deal with different types of enemies and movements. It also makes combat more realistic and cinematic, since NPCs look like they are actually trying to fight you instead of just running into your sword. This mod works with any mod that adds new movesets or animations to NPCs, such as MCO or Smooth Moveset. It allows modders to customize the paving AI data for their movesets to make them more compatible and effective. The mod also improves performance by optimizing the script that handles the trap hit event. This mod is very simple and compatible with everything except mods that change the same vanilla script. It requires SKSE 64, address library for SKSE plugins, and behavior data injector as dependencies. It has no ESP file and it's very easy to install with any mod manager. If you're like me, you probably have a lot of recipes in your inventory that you never use. Recipes are supposed to help you make potions and poisons by telling you which ingredients to combine. However, they are often inaccurate or incomplete since they don't show the correct ingredient names or effects. For example, some recipes use Sabercat Eyeball instead of Eye of Sabercat, or they list an effect that doesn't match the ingredient. This makes recipes confusing and useless, since you can't rely on them to make what you want. This mod fixes this problem by making recipes actually teach you something. With this mod, whenever you read a recipe, you will automatically learn the effects of the ingredients listed in it. This way, you can expand your alchemy knowledge and discover new combinations without having to experiment or eat random ingredients. This mod also corrects all recipes to show the correct ingredient names and effects, so you don't have to deal with typos or errors. This mod works with any recipe in the game, including those added by DLCs or other mods. I think this mod is a great improvement for alchemy in Skyrim. It makes recipes actually useful and helpful instead of just cluttering your inventory. It also makes alchemy more fun and rewarding, since you can learn new things and make better potions and poisons. It's one of those mods that you don't know you need until you try it, but then you won't be able to play without it. If you've played Skyrim for a while, you may have noticed that sometimes your character slows down or speeds up when you draw, sheathe, or shout while sprinting or sneaking. This is because the game applies the wrong movement data to your character, which doesn't match your actual sprint or sneak state. For example, when you sprint and draw your weapon, the game thinks you're walking instead of sprinting, and makes you move slower. Or when you sneak and sheathe your weapon, the game thinks you're running instead of sneaking, and makes you move faster. This bug can be very annoying and immersion-breaking, since it makes your movement inconsistent and unpredictable. Sprint Sneak Movement Speed Fix Mod fixes this bug by checking if the movement data that the game wants to apply matches your actual sprint or sneak state. If not, it chooses and applies the correct one instead. This way, your movement speed will always be consistent and accurate, regardless of what you do while sprinting or sneaking. This mod works with any character in the game, including NPCs, if you enable that option in the config file. I think this mod is a great improvement for Skyrim's movement system. It fixes a bug that has been bothering me for a long time and makes my movement feel more smooth and responsive. In this time, we are looking at Classic Sprinting Redone, a mod that makes sprinting behave the same way as it did in old Skyrim. That means you have to hold the sprint button instead of toggling it on and off. 
Classic Sprinting Redone is a simple but effective mod that restores the old sprinting mechanic from Skyrim. Some people may prefer this over the new system, as it gives you more control over your movement and stamina. You can also use this mod with Better Jumping SE, which allows you to jump while sprinting and customize your jump height and speed. To demonstrate how this mod works, I'm going to load up a save game and show you the difference between the vanilla and the modded sprinting. As you can see, in Vanilla Skyrim SE, when I press the sprint button once, my character starts sprinting and keeps sprinting until I press the button again or run out of stamina. This can be annoying if you want to stop sprinting quickly or conserve your stamina for combat. Now, with Classic Sprinting Redone enabled, when I press the Sprint button, my character only sprints as long as I hold the button. When I release it, he stops sprinting immediately. This gives me more flexibility and precision in my movement, and also makes it easier to manage my stamina. I can also jump while sprinting with Better Jumping SE installed, which adds more fun and realism to the game. And that's it for Chapter 2 of No ESP No Problem, the best SKSE plugins for a customized Skyrim experience. We hope you enjoyed learning about some amazing SKSE plugins that can enhance your gameplay and take it to the next level. Remember, all the links to these plugins are in the description below, so make sure to check them out and give them a try. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next chapter.